Hi guys and welcome to The Family Fudge. I'm Jennifer and today I'm going to share with you some budget friendly gift basket ideas. And everything that I'm using today I found at the Dollar Tree. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so now that the Christmas season has officially begun, we might find ourselves with a long list of people that we want to give gifts to. But we also don't want to break the bank, right? So I'm going to show you how to put together these gift baskets. They're going to be super thoughtful and cute, but they're not going to cost a lot. These will be perfect for a neighbor gift, something for a coworker or a teacher, just something small to let them know that you care. So let's get started. Okay guys, now before I start putting these baskets together, I wanted to give you a closer look at exactly what I'm using. And like I said, I found all of these things at the Dollar Tree. Now starting with the baskets themselves, I just picked up several of these guys. These are so cute. This one's a little Santa design. And then I have several of the elf design as well. And they're the perfect size. Not too big, not too small. Now to fill the bottom of the basket, I am gonna be using some of this tissue paper. We have some different colors and different patterns just like that. So I'm gonna lay some of that down in there. Now I'm also gonna be putting a gift tag on here. These gift tags are so cute. Now to go around our basket, I'm gonna be using several of these shrink wrap and pull bow kits. Now this actually comes with one per package like this. And basically you just wrap it around your basket with everything inside. And then you can actually use your hair blow dryer and the heat will actually shrink wrap this package. So it'll be tighter to your basket. And it also comes with a plastic bow, but I'm not gonna be using that at all. I'm actually gonna use this ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I think this looks a lot nicer and it's only a dollar and I can do several packages with this amount. Okay, so let me show you the different basket ideas. My first basket up here is going to be movie night at home themed. And this is enough for two people, so maybe a romantic date night at home, possibly. Now I am including one item that I did not find at the Dollar Tree and that is a coupon code for one rental to Redbox. So whoever gets this basket can rent one movie. And these, you guys, are only $1.50, so it's a really good deal. So for the movie gift basket, I've included a beverage for two. I just picked up this bottle of Sprite, but really any soft drink would do. And I'm also including this box of popcorn. Now at the Dollar Tree, you can actually get three bags in one box of popcorn, so plenty of popcorn. And then the Dollar Tree has so many movie-sized candies. Now I just went with the classic Reese's Pieces and Swedish Fish because I feel like who doesn't love those, right? And finally, I picked up two of these really cute popcorn cups, and it actually comes with two at the Dollar Tree. So this whole basket didn't cost very much, and it's totally cute. So let's put it together. Just like that, you have a super cute gift for any couple to have a fun date night at home. Next up, I have a kitchenwares themed basket. Now this would be perfect for a college student, maybe some newlyweds, or possibly just anybody who likes to cook. So first off, I picked up this oven mitt in the festive red color. And also to go along with that, I picked up a red and white kitchen towel. And then I have all of these Betty Crocker kitchen gadgets. First up, I have some measuring cups, and then I also have a basting brush. I have a pair of kitchen scissors, also the Betty Crocker brand, and then I have a set of measuring spoons. And this is actually really nice. This is a cookie turner spatula. And then I also included a cake decorating kit. I know with the holidays right now, we might wanna do some cookie decorating, and this would be perfect for that. And then lastly, I have this Betty Crocker measuring cup. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and fit everything into the basket. And there you have it. You can clearly see everything. It's displayed pretty nicely, I would say. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and move on to my next basket. 
Next up, I have a really fun hot cocoa themed basket. Now this would be perfect as a neighbor gift or maybe a teacher gift or even a secret Santa. I'm starting off with this Swiss Miss instant hot cocoa. This actually comes with six packets and the marshmallows as well. But I am including this bag of mini marshmallows because they have these at the Dollar Tree so people can add real marshmallows if they'd like. I'm also including two mugs. Now these are actually Christmas travel mugs and they do have a lot of ceramic mugs at the Dollar Tree as well, but I chose these because they're portable because they have lids. Now this one is red with the Christmas words on it and then this one has mugs as well. So really cute. Now I'm also including some flavoring. Now this is a hazelnut flavoring so that you can add it to the hot cocoa to make hazelnut hot cocoa. That sounds delicious. And they had these in several other flavors like peppermint. They also had vanilla. So lots of flavoring options for your hot cocoa. I'm also including two of these really fun peppermint sticks. Because I don't know if you guys have ever tried putting a peppermint stick in your hot chocolate. It's really good. Now lastly, I'm also including this little pack of Dove chocolates so that you can actually add one of these down inside your hot cocoa as well to make it extra chocolatey. So lots of fun choices from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna go ahead and package this up. Okay, now just like that. Now it really doesn't matter how you organize these baskets, but I do like to put sort of the star of the show, which in this case is the hot cocoa and the mugs. I like to put those things kind of front and center where you can obviously tell what the theme is. Next up, I have a really fun spa themed basket. And I was really surprised how many spa like things you can find at the Dollar Tree. Now starting off, I have some bath products. First, I have this vanilla cream bath fizzer, and then I also have this fizzing bath bomb, and this is in the almond milk and honey scent. And I've actually tried these from the Dollar Tree before. They're actually really nice, and they didn't irritate my skin at all, which I was a little bit concerned about. So we have those. Next, I have some body relaxing bath soak. So this is kind of like a bath salt, and this is in the vanilla scent. Now I also have some body cream. This is actually really thick moisturizing cream, and it's in the vanilla scent as well. And then I picked this up. This is an exfoliating bath glove. So you kind of know the deal with this. This is a little bit scratchy, but I could definitely tell it would be good for getting off all that dead skin, giving yourself a nice spa treatment. Now, I also picked up this pedicure set. Woo! Now this comes with the pumice stone and some scrubbers and some um, little toe things. I meant to pick up some nail polish at the Dollar Tree, but I forgot, but that would, that would go really nicely with this. And also we have a little thing of clippers as well. Now to go along with that, I'm also including a face mask. Now this one is a ginseng and collagen green tea mask. And then I'm also including some candles. Now these are little apple cinnamon scented tea candles and I have this little votive to put them in. This is so cute, very reflective and beautiful. Now I'm also including a special drink for when your spa treatment is over. I have two of these glass sparkling cider bottles. Isn't that cute? I love sparkling cider. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and package this up. And there we have it. I would love to receive a gift like this, wouldn't you? My next basket's actually for a child, specifically a child that loves to craft. Now at the Dollar Tree, you can actually find so many little crafting kits and supplies, so it's perfect to put in a gift basket. Now I know at my daughter's school, they're actually having a raffle to raise money, so this would be a perfect donation to the raffle. So here's what I picked up for this basket. First I picked up this little wood shop craft and you can actually build a little birdhouse. It comes with everything you need, even the glue. I also picked up this little paint set with all the paint and the paint brush. And then I also picked up this little sun catcher project. My kids love these and they actually turn out really neat. 
And then I also picked up this little Play-Doh set. Well, it's actually just dough, not Play-Doh. But my kids have used these before and they actually work just as well as Play-Doh. And just for a $1, you get the Play-Doh and all of these tools. And then check out this, you guys. This is actually a slime kit. Make your own slime. It comes with everything you need to make a tiny little green slime. And then I'm also including this really cute little art apron. They had these in several different colors, just like that, so the kids can stay tidy as they're doing all this crafting. And then finally, I did also include a big thing of construction paper, just for general crafting. Now you could really beef this up. You could add scissors and glue and crayons and markers. You could really go all out and build this up. But if you're on a budget, this is actually a really good selection. And there you have it, so many fun crafting items. I know my kids would love to receive a basket like this. Okay friends, so here are all of our completed gift baskets. Back here we have the kitchen one, right here we have the movie themed one, the kids art basket is over here, and then my favorite is probably the spa basket, and then right over here we have the hot cocoa basket. I hope this gives you some good ideas on budget friendly gifts for Christmas time. And let me know in the comments down below, which one of these baskets is your favorite? Okay friends, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Now if you'd like to see my last Dollar Tree haul, you can click on the link up here. And if you'd like to see yesterday's video, you can click on the link down there. And if you'd like to subscribe, you can hit my face right over here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.